Well, staying with sports, this fall marks 100 years of football between Evansville high schools. That's tonight, like Randall just showed you there with the lineup. Thousands of games have been played in all of those years, but it all had to start with one. And that game may not seem important now when we talk about the oldest rivalry in town, but it was really important then as it had the goal of bringing the city close, even though the score was anything but. 100 years ago, the city of Evansville was barely a century old. It had plenty of new things its neighbors didn't, including a new second high school. Thanksgiving of 1921, it was the first time ever. Central had been around since 1894. Of course, it was Evansville High School when it first started, but now there's a new kid on the block. Evansville said, okay, we're going to have a second high school, which is now known as Wright's High School. Opening just a few years earlier, Wright's made the decision to challenge Evansville High School, now central to the first ever game between two public city schools. The reasons, as they can still be today, were bigger than football. Uh, Wright's was, event, was uh, originally built as the West Side Junior High School there because uh, the high school and the junior high downtown you know was the only other secondary school rights was started because the west side of evansville wasn't getting the representation you know, back then there was many cars so it was harder for them to travel it was the newest school against another that had been playing football since 1894 from the moment the ball was snapped that experience was evident they weren't very big and central was a state power well they said okay 1921 they're big enough we're going to try and go at it and they probably weren't big enough yet because the final score was 104 to zero. That's right, Evansville's first ever matchup and its oldest rivalry was a blowout. The kicker was 14 to 14. Uh, there was a gentleman by the name of Herman Byers who scored three touchdowns for the Bears. Of course, uh, Wrights fans know him as the, you know, really the, uh, the preeminent coach of, in Wrights high school football history. So the fact that, you know, they're, they're, the coach that led them to the most success also led them to one of their greatest defeats of all time is kind of ironic. Today, few remember that game. To get many details, you have to go back in the school's records, which seem to tell different tales. If you look at both yearbooks there especially, then, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those where each of them has their excuses and stuff there that uh, Wrights complained that the field was so wet and they just couldn't run that they, you know, that they had faster players and stuff. But, but with the, you know, the pit there they were playing in, you know, they just, they couldn't do anything. In the 100 years since, close games across the city have have been remembered as classics by fans and alumni. But the truth is, the original classic wasn't close at all. Well, the first game between Central and Wrights is the oldest rivalry, but not quite the first game ever played between two schools in the city. It was actually just a week or so before Thanksgiving 1921 that Evansville Central played a game against Evansville Boys Catholic High School.